Did you know that Carlos Alcaraz's journey from kid prodigy to tennis celebrity includes a startling twist that shaped his ascension to being the tennis world's youngest and brightest star? In today's video, we'll look at Carlos Alcaraz's amazing talent as a child and how it laid the groundwork for his current standing as one of the best and youngest tennis players in history. We'll look at the unique circumstances that contributed to his remarkable rise in the world of tennis, from his unexpected beginnings to the critical moments that carried him forward. Stay attentive to the conclusion to learn about Carlos Alcaraz's incredible journey, a story of unyielding determination, unexpected counters, and amazing genius on the court. Discover how his youthful intelligence paved the road for his astounding achievements today, providing insight into what makes him stand out as a tennis great. The Real Sociedad Club de Campo is located in a quiet nook of El Palmar town in southeastern Spain. This location, which was once used by wealthy hunters to target pigeons, has now been transformed into a magnificent tennis club with a breathtaking view of Mercia's metropolis. Interestingly, many people got their first glimpse of a young talent that could affect the future of men's tennis at the Tiro de Pichon, nicknamed Pigeon Strike Grounds. Carlos Alcaraz's journey began as a small child playing with his father. At the age of four or five, he grasped the attention of Kiko Navarro, who had been tutored by Alcaraz's father in his youth and eventually became one of Carlos Jr.'s early mentors. Navarro recalls affectionately, he began to play with his dad and one day his father asked me to watch him. This kid at four, five years old was spectacular. Although Navarro did not expect Alcaraz to become the world number one player, he did notice something special about him. Alfredo Soria, Carlos Sr.'s close friend and business partner, co-manages the Carlos Alcaraz Academy in Tiro de Pichon. When Soria first saw the four-year-old Alcaraz playing padel with his brother, he was fascinated by his potential. You could see his talent from a young age, he adds, that he had the makings of a champion. Nonetheless, Soria concedes that such predictions were made with caution. The club, which has tennis and padel courts, a pool, gym, basketball court and even a football pitch has deep roots in Alcaraz. His grandpa, who bore the same name, started to play tennis at the club and helped shape it into the modern sports hub it is today. The Tiro de Pichon club became a stage for a young Carlos Alcaraz to show off his great talents, capturing the attention of people who saw something special in him. So, from humble beginnings, a future tennis superstar's career began. The breakthrough has now surfaced after three generations of effort inside the Alcaraz family, and the wait has proven to be worthwhile. As the curtain rose on the French Open, the globe saw Carlos Alcaraz's ascension to the renowned world number one standing strong as a contender in the event. His incredible journey through 2022 imprinted his name in history, achieving a Grand Slam title at the US Open and an unparalleled feat as the youngest number one in the ATP rankings at the age of 19. This is enough to show his commitment and his passion. Carlos Alcaraz's meteoric ascension in the tennis world may appear predetermined given his great talent, youth, and frequent triumphs. It's almost as if he was intended to become the youngest ever world number one in ATP ranking history. With his amazing speed, delicate touch, and body that fits right in among the tennis grades, his favorable genes also play a role as his father was a nationally rated pro in Spain during his adolescence. But was Alcaraz's path truly predetermined? Maybe not. In sports, particularly tennis, where early training is critical, there is frequently an element of chance that affects the road to success. Alcaraz's story took an unexpected turn because of a lucky coincidence involving the logo of a local confectionery firm. Alcaraz wore shorts with this symbol since he was 10, thanks to chance meetings with Alfonso López Rueda, a tennis playing executive from Postres Reina, a Spanish sweets and desserts company known for its delightful goodies. Because of his interest in Alcaraz, López Rueda was able to travel across Europe and battle against older opponents in unfamiliar arenas. This encouragement may have played a role in Alcaraz's unwavering serenity and happy demeanor when he walked onto large stages under blaring spotlights. Of course, Alcaraz's inherent qualities were crucial to his success. When faced with opportunities, he took them, demonstrating his outstanding abilities. Those prospects, though, arose from a decision made by Alcaraz's family decades ago. This sensible man decided to build tennis courts and a swimming pool at a hunting club in El Palmar, close outside Murcia. While cheaper alternatives existed, Grandpa Alcaraz, also known as Carlos, made certain that the distinctive red clay courts were included in the club's development. Echoes from the past reverberate among the club's members, who recall a fervent young Carlitos in his early days. Soria recalled an entertaining occurrence when he arrived at the club for a meeting with Alcaraz's father. 
I went to look for Carlos Senior and there I found Carlitos watching a game between grandparents by the fence on court three, he says laughing. He knew how they were faring, he told them the mistakes they were making. You have to serve here, he has a passion for tennis. Fast forward nearly a dozen years, imagine Alfonso Lopez Rueda, a tennis aficionado and CEO of Fostris Reiner, a business in Caravaca de la Cruz. But Lopez Rueda's love of tennis is more than a passing fancy. He has a particular liking for playing the game on the treasured red clay courts. He happens to live in the same neighborhood as the Alcarath family, and the nicest and most accessible clay courts for him are at a club in El Palmar. Naturally, he frequents this club, developing friendships with Carlos Alcarath's father and even collaborating as a double partner with Alcarath's uncle. Lopez Rueda's curiosity got the best of him one day and he decided to watch Alcarath play on the court. What he saw was nothing short of remarkable. Alcarath exhibited an astonishing range of abilities. Despite his enormous potential, the Alcarath family's financial resources were limited. They had constraints because Alcarath's father worked as a tennis teacher and administrator at the club and his mother was dedicated to raising him and his younger brothers. Lopez Rueda stepped in and offered the family a 2,000 euro loan to help them participate in a competition. However, his vision grew, leading him to embark on a larger venture, supporting local artists through his firm Postris Reiner. Alcarath, a rising tennis player, became the company's first individual athlete to acquire sponsorship, wearing their insignia on his clothing. This amazing support from Postris Reiner, which spanned Alcarath's crucial adolescent years, permitted his access to a top-tier coaching in the region and allowed him to travel Europe, competing in the most challenging tournaments. Jose Lag, a long-serving official at Postris Reiner and a friend of the Alcarath family, emphasized that the company's support was motivated by true altruism rather than commercial motives. It was only to help him. We never thought he would be number one, he remarked. The impact of crucial characters and pivotal circumstances becomes clear as Carlos Alcarath's remarkable journey unfolds. Alcarath gained the attention of IMG, a renowned sports and entertainment company, at the age of 13, which opened doors to a further opportunities, including access to his current coach, former world number one, Juan Carlos Ferreira. Alcarath's rapid ascension from outside the top 100 ranks in May 2021 to achieve the coveted number one slot in just 16 months later exemplifies his meticulous progress. Each intricately knit aspect of his journey has contributed to his outstanding achievements. Tennis is primarily a source of joy and excitement for Alcarath. His career has been filled with exhilarating experiences. From his first victory on a remote court at the Australian Open in February 2021, to consecutive victories over Nadal and Djokovic at the Madrid Open in 2022, to enthralling clashes with Tiafo and Michelle Obama's appearance at the US Open. Even his victories in the finals are a part of this thrilling journey. Alcarath's victory stands out in a modern tennis era dominated by long exchanges from the baseline. His path to success was paved with vivacious, innovative all-court play. Highlighted by explosive forehands, a bombardment of drop shots that suffocated opponents and an unshakable proclivity to advance towards the net. What characteristics of Carlos Alcaraz's youth and early development do you believe contributed the most to his meteoric ascension to the top of the tennis world today? Comment down below.